understand? Mm -hmm. So John Thompson, man, you know, he sold me out with Nike. Me and John were tight like this. I gave John Thompson five minutes on Inside Sports on Monday to promote Georgetown basketball when he couldn't get any other media play. You hear what I said? So now when I sign up with Nike, I'm going up here to my man John Thompson, get him put on the Nike shoe for his team, right? That's going to be a feather yeah, in my cap, feather in his cap. I go up there. I say, John. Look, man, I need you to put the Nike shoe. I had to call Big House, too. So you, so, okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. So I called Big House, too, you know. So Big House said, well, Harold, you know, I'm with John McClendon. That's my man. He's with Converse. So, you know, I got I to hang with him. I said, that's good. I understand. So I go to John Thompson, and he said, Harold, I think that's a good idea. Let me think about it. Now, Georgetown University was about a mile from the Nike store on M Street. I walked back down there. You know, Sam Jones was working. Like Sam worked, Sam worked for me. You understand? So I go back down there and man, I get to the store and I get a call from Portland, Oregon from my, my man who hired me, John Phillips. He said, Harold, weren't you supposed to go up see John Thompson today? I said, yeah. He said, what's up? He said, man, John Thompson just called out here and made his own deal. <laughs> Sold me out. Mm. Sold me out, man. You hear what I'm saying? Man, I went up there the next day. Now, I'm going to tell y'all, I went up the next day. You know, I'm from the streets, man. You know, I went up the next day. I carried a baseball bat for me. You know, he about seven feet tall. You went there like Ice Cube? <laughs> <laughs> you know, ice Cube I, I, waited, I waited outside, you know, for him to come out. But one of his ball players, somebody spotted me. Because when he came out the door and looked, he ran back in. You understand? But the uh, next time I saw him, I said, man, don't you ever in life say anything to me again. Because I gave you time on the air. You understand? When nobody else would. Plus, when he got an opportunity to hire a, a, a color guy, he hired a white boy. You know? But this is John Thompson. He's such a big fraud, man. And, uh, of course, he started making deals out in Las Vegas under the table with slot machines and everything. And then he, uh, this, this white girl, Murray Finland, or whatever her name is, uh, who was supposed to be his advisor, student advisor, she was uh the fiance of one of his coaches batman that we kind of grew up with he ended up taking the gal from batman you know taking to las vegas and stuff and then gwen of course his wife found out about him and then sued for divorce and he started threatening her because she thought he had mafia ties since he was out in las vegas she was scared of him. so she told her lawyer say go check with harold bell harold bell will tell you where all the skeletons are in his closet she came to me and I said, look here, take him to court. He don't want to go to court. He got too many things that he don't want nobody to know about. Right. Shoot, man. They sell out of court. Uh, I think in somewhere in six million dollars. And Gwen, uh, a couple of weeks or months went by. She called me and my wife down to her office and wrote a check for fifty thousand dollars, forty thousand dollars for my kids in trouble program and ten thousand dollars.